in this next part of Psalm 119, we're going to see persistence in prayer. And so as you look at this, I want to ask you, is this your cry? Does your heart cry out to go unto the Lord and to persist in prayer? Prayer is far more important, I think, than I usually realize, and probably you too. But it's something the Lord has ordained for us to do. And in the book of Acts, when the early church grows like crazy and goes like it has never gone before, taking the gospel to the world, you always find the believers were gathered together and they prayed. So as we look at this, verse 145 and on today, I pray we see that. Verse 145, I have cried with my whole heart, hear me, O Lord, I will keep thy statutes. I cried unto thee, save me, and I shall keep thy testimonies. I prevented the dawning of the morning and cried, I have hoped in thy word. Mine eyes Prevent the night watches that I might meditate in thy word. The author here is getting up early before the dawn to pray. He is also getting up and staying up late. My eyes prevent the night watches to meditate on the Lord's word. He's studying God's word. He's contemplating it. He's wrestling with it. He is studying God's word. Do we do that? Have you ever stayed up late to study the Word of God? Because you just needed to study more of the Lord's Word. Have you ever gotten up early to pray? Verse 149 through 152. Hear my voice according to thy loving kindness, and, O Lord, quicken me according to thy judgment. They draw nigh that follow after mischief. They are far from thy law. Thou art near, O Lord, and all thy commandments are truth. Thou art near, O Lord. Concerning thy testimonies, I have known of old that thou hast founded them forever. I'm going to turn. I believe that it is James 4.8. It's kind of a parallel passage here. Here's what it says. And I'm actually going to start in James 4, 7 and read uh, a few verses here. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you is what that is saying. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. Do we live that way? Romans 12, I believe, is where I want to be. There's another parallel verse. Romans 12, 12. Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. Do we persist in prayer?